Today we're going to be unboxing the RG350M, the metal version. Here we have the, the box, straight from China. As you can see, it comes with a nice lid. It's got some nice packaging to protect it and the controls. Inside here, we have the RG350. Some more packaging. A USB lead data and charge cable. A 350M quick start guide to tell you how to, to use everything both in Chinese and English, and a user manual. So that's what's in the main part of the box. Let's have a look at the console itself. Put that over there. So look at this. These come in two colours at the moment. So it looks pretty nice. It's all metal, it's nice and heavy, a lot heavier than the RG350. Um, what you'll notice is the volume's on the side now, and so is the power on and off on the other side. At the top, um, you've got all the other ports. So what have you got? You've got the OTG, the HD, the headphone, and the USB power. But what you will notice is, down the bottom where the speakers are, there's also a sticker over uh, an SD card, the 16 gig bootable SD card, a reset button, and another SD card. So that means if you want to upgrade the firmware on this, you can actually take out the internal card, which is the one on the left there, and upgrade it without opening the case. And notice the joysticks are in different positions. So they're both on the bottom and they're low profile ones, so that's nice. And it just feels quality. And these have got an upgraded screen. So let's turn it on. So I'll hold the power button in. We get the Abenic logo and then we should come to the main menu and on there we've got settings applications emulators so let's just have a quick look at one of the emulators so i've gone across on here we've got final burn alpha so let's start that up and this is how long it takes to load up There we go, and there's the list of games. And we can scroll down the list of games there. I've got to say, the screen is really, really clear. So let's start one of these games, Legends of Cage. Here we go. Let's press start. And the sound, sound is pretty good, actually. And yes. So all good. So we use a reset in the button. We can press the reset. It resets it straight away. The all the buttons are in quality. If I want to turn it off, obviously power off the power off button. It's much much better, I would say, than the original 350. It feels some more solid. It looks better. It's cool in the colour that it comes with. It's got these extra pads on the back to protect it when you're putting it down. Generally, it just looks better. Very glad I got some of these.